Hello, everyone. Matt Clark, research analyst for Money and Markets here with your latest Bull and the Bear podcast. Before I get into today's podcast, I've talked about this before. just want to bring it up again. I do want to tell you Adam's uh, Millionaire Masterclass launched a couple weeks ago, and in it, he explains a trading strategy he's uh, leaned pretty heavily on uh, uh, with the principle of buy high, sell higher. It's a strategy he used to retire at the age of 33. Uh, you really don't want to miss it. So just head over to www.theinvestingsecret.com and find out more about this great strategy and how Adam used it and how you can get access to it as well. Now on with today's podcast, the year has been kind of one of those years that's really not like none other. Um, and, and the stock market is really no different. We've had a global pandemic that's impacted the entire world. Uh, you know, it's put a ton of pressure on world economies, causing recessions in numerous countries, millions of millions and millions of people in lockdown, unable to leave their homes. It's just been one of those years that quite frankly, most would probably want to forget. Uh, but the U.S. stock market actually continues to behave really like nothing's going on. Take a look at the Power Shares NASDAQ 100 ETF trades on the New York Stock Exchange under QQQ. It's an exchange traded fund that invests in the top 100 stocks listed on the NASDAQ Composite Index. Now, as you can see in the chart, it kind of bounces back and forth. But according to ETF Replay, QQQ, uh, this is the best year of returns for this ETF. And that's tracking it all the way back to 2013. It's 30.27% return in the second quarter of this year is the best quarterly return in the last 20 years. It's ETFs on track to post an annual return of about 45.7% in 2020. In the last two decades, this ETF has only posted returns that high twice. That's it, twice in the last 20 years. And considering what all's going on, it just, it kind of doesn't make any sense. And you have to understand that not all ETFs are really created equal. They all track different sectors and different sectors perform, quite honestly, differently. Several factors covered by exchange traded funds have been battered around pretty good in the last couple of years. And I suspect for a few that that's actually going to change. And that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, I, want to, I want to talk about one specific ETF that I think is, is going to uh, kind of weather it storm, bounce back, and provide the potential for, for, for strong gains into 2021. In 2012, just to kind of backtrack a little bit, the cannabis market got its big start when Colorado voters approved Amendment 64 that legalized the cultivation, manufacture, sale, and use of recreational marijuana. Washington State passed a similar measure around the same time. It was the first in the country. Uh, they were pioneering states uh, that decided to take on and legalize cannabis on the state level. It was, a, and it was at the point that cannabis companies started to blow up and really find a lot of love in the stock market. Investors really just couldn't wait to get their hands on cannabis stocks because the thought was the market was just going to blow through the roof. Um, but it didn't. And the market cooled as legislation, as legalization efforts really kind of uh, on the federal level really went nowhere. And only a small amount of states took up the notion to legalize cannabis broad base. Cannabis stocks went into free fall. It was not pretty at all. And to couple that with the fact that cannabis companies in the U.S. are prohibited from obtaining bank financing because cannabis is still considered illegal federally, um, it, it's really caused a bit of an issue for cannabis stocks. But that was until March of 2020. That's when the coronavirus hit the United States. Well, at least when lockdowns started to hit the United States. Faced with stay-at-home stay orders, millions of Americans who were kind of, again, forced to stay at home, turned to cannabis. And cannabis sales went through the roof. Then on election day in 2020, voters in five states, Montana, New Jersey, Arizona, South Dakota, and Mississippi, all approved measures legalizing cannabis either for recreational medical use, in the case of South Dakota, for both at the same time. Couple that with a win of former Vice President Joe Biden in the presidential election, and, can and the cannabis market now has a new resurgence of hope. The story can be told pretty strongly just by looking at one of the exchange traded funds I think will rebound in 2021, and that is the Advisor Shares Pure Cannabis ETF. It trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker YOLO, or as is most commonly referred to as YOLO. You only live once. Um, but again, just for all intents and purposes, let's just refer to it as, as YOLO for now. It's the first actively managed ETF with the mandate only to invest in cannabis stocks in the U.S. It holds companies like Afria, uh, Cureleaf Holdings, and Grow Generation. And I talk a lot about these stocks over in my Marijuana Market Update, which can be found on our YouTube channel uh, just by going to YouTube.com, searching for Money and Markets, and then we've got an entire channel dedicated to the Marijuana Market Update, which I do every week. In fact, one of the three holdings that I just talked about has made its way onto my cannabis watch list at moneyandmarkets.com, and it's actually become the best performer we have to date. So just to kind of put that in perspective. Anyway, 
To shift back, since its inception in 2019, YOLO has provided investors with really more headaches than rewards. It's been on a consistent downtrend since it started back in 2019. The market price, uh, market price return since it started, a negative 37%. To put that in perspective, the S&P 500's market price return is 10% during the same time frame. However, in October of 2020, that all turned around. YOLO provided the market price return of a positive 6.25%, while the S&P 500 return, a negative 2.6%. So this is the first time that YOLO actually outperformed the S&P 500, and it happened just a few months ago. Now, looking at YOLO's stock chart, you see that the price of the stock has never really moved above its 50-day moving average until now. In late July, YOLO hit a golden cross. This is when the 200-day moving average crosses below the 50-day moving average. That usually indicates some sort of an uptrend is on the way. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen right away, but it means that there is one that could be on the way. It is kind of a popular technical indicator. Not the only one, but one that would suggest that an uptrend is on the way. On top of that, the share price for YOLO actually moved above its 50-day moving average. Since hitting its low point in March of 2020, along with just about every other stock in the market, YOLO has rebounded to the tune of 178.6%. But it still has 34% to go before hitting its high it reached when it launched in 2019. So it's still got uh, a good bit of room to grow before it reaches that previous high set more than a year ago. On top of that, its performance over one year is more than 40% to the positive. That comes with an annual dividend yield of 4.24% and an expense ratio of just 0.74%. So the expense ratio might be a little high in terms of ETS, but it's really not bad. But a 4.24% dividend yield annually really isn't bad at all. Needless to say, cannabis stocks have really been taking a beating over the last several years, and I think that's about to change. Now we have 15 states in the U.S. that have approved recreational cannabis use, and I suspect more are going to follow suit. And I've talked about that in a, recent, in a recent marijuana market update. States like New York and Pennsylvania, I think, are going to take a real hard look since New Jersey uh, approved uh, recreational use just this year. The U.S. House of Representatives just passed a bill that would decriminalize recreational marijuana use on the federal level. And although it's really kind of dead on arrival in the Republican-controlled Senate because they're not even going to take it up, it does send a message to the incoming Biden administration that there is congressional interest in passing cannabis uh, legalization on the federal level. And I think YOLO is in the midst of an uptrend that has the potential to continue well into 2021 and perhaps even beyond. But to take advantage of that, you have to kind of buy in now because right now it's already starting to move upwards. You want to buy high, sell higher, and we're already seeing that uptrend. So you don't want to wait too long because it might tap out uh, or your gains could be really limited. So we could be looking at a possible, you know, if it reaches its top side, a 34% gain in a marijuana ETF, which is pretty extraordinary considering where things have been. But like I said, if you want to take advantage of the early uptrend, you kind of need to buy in now. Now, make sure you check out our YouTube channel. Just head over to YouTube.com, search Money in Markets. We have the, bull, the green bull and the bear logo. Subscribe. Uh, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and then uh, hit that notification bell so you get notified each and every time uh, we release a new video. If you do want to listen to the bull and the bear as a, as a traditional podcast, you can do so on your favorite podcast indicator, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and about 50 others that I haven't even heard of before. We are all, we're syndicated across all those. So pick your poison. Uh, we'd love it if you would follow, leave a review. You can uh, either leave a star review or leave a comment. Uh, either way, on our YouTube channel, we love comments. So make sure you uh, leave a comment, whether that's telling me how wrong I am or asking me for more information. Uh, I, I'm all for that either way. Um, and also just make sure that you do visit moneyandmarkets.com. That's kind of our flagship. We do post daily articles on there that provide safe and sound investment information for you. And it's free. Uh, we do have a daily e-letter that comes out. Uh, it comes out seven days a week, usually in the morning. Uh, two or three stories on there every day. Just kind of get your day started in terms of the investment world. And it's absolutely free to sign up. Just go over to moneymarkets.com, put in your email address, and you can start getting that ASAP. So we're going to have more coming up uh, next week. We're getting closer to that Christmas break. Investors are kind of not paying attention to the markets, but kind of are. Uh, so we've got our week ahead video that's going to be coming out here soon, plus the marijuana market update and more from the Bull and the Bear podcast all coming up next week. Until then, this is Money and Markets uh, research analyst and host of the Bull and the Bear podcast, Matt Clark, wishing you all safe trading. <laughs>